This is like Mission Impossible meets Saw and some weird horoscope, but got it. Michael, you're about to take Vanity Fair's Proust questionnaire. You'll be asked questions in rapid succession in order to reveal your true nature. Once a question has been read out, you will have five seconds to answer before we move on. Once we have completed all of the questions, you will have a chance to reflect on and even correct your answers. I accept. <laughs> Let's go. What is your idea of perfect happiness? All of my, my sensory stimulating, you know what I'm saying? Whether it's going to be, you know, a visual, uh, you know, audio, uh, taste buds, physically, just everything being stimulated at one time, I think I'll be completely happy. What is your greatest fear? Greatest fear is being forgotten. What is the trait you most deplore in yourself? Mm -hmm. Being too easygoing. What is the trait you most deplore in others? Lack of compassion. Which living person do you most admire? I'm to my parents. What is your greatest extravagance? Maybe my shoe collection? What is your current state of mind? Extreme ambition. What do you consider the most overrated virtue? Pass. What do you most dislike about your appearance? That's a good one. Wait, <laughs> wait, wait. I'm trying to think of something good because this is a good question. Right? I'm trying to get a good answer. What are the most like about my appearance? I'm going to say... We can go back to it. Let's go back to that one. That's a good one. What is the quality you most like in a woman? I oh, mean, too, I think nurturing and sense of humor. Which words or phrases do you most overuse? All good. All good, yeah, it's all good. I say that way too much. What or who is the greatest love of your life? Food. When and where were you happiest? I think when I'm out in the water. Which talent would you most like to have? I think to be able to play all instruments. If you could change one thing about yourself, what would it be? More carefree. What do you consider your greatest achievement? I haven't done it yet. If you were to die and come back as a person or a thing, what would it be? Between a dolphin and a falcon. Where would you most like to live? New York or Tokyo. What is your most treasured possession? I'm going to say my car and my PlayStation. What is your favorite occupation? Chef. What is your most marked characteristic? Mean intuitive. What do you most value in your friends? Their sense of honesty. Like, they don't care. They treat me like me, no matter what I have. Who are your favorite writers? Balthazar Gar Garcian is one of them. Uh, Tanasi Coates is another. Who is your hero of fiction? Pass. Which historical figure do you most identify with? Marcus Garvey and Mandela. Who are your heroes in real life? My parents. What is it that you most dislike? I'm gonna keep it, keep it light. Okra. What is your greatest regret? Not investing in serious radio when the stock was like $3. The last question is, what is your motto? I mean, I got a bunch. Um, turning nothing into something. And that concludes the Proust questionnaire. <sighs> that was like, that was pressure. Okay, got it. Okay, cool. So how do you feel after those questions, those heavy questions? I feel that there's so many things that there's not just one answer to, that I'm very complex, that there's like some things I'm very particular about, others, you know, it, it takes a few, uh, the answer is a combination of a few different things. Speaking of combinations, you said that if you could die and come back as a person or a thing, you'd come back as? It's between a dolphin and a falcon. Why those animals? Uh, I mean, just the perspective of being able to fly. I, mean, I think falcons are super majestic, you know, uh, always been into them. And uh, dolphins are like so carefree, extremely intelligent, and uh, they have fun. You know what I'm saying? Like they have, they have a good time. And I love the ocean. I love being in the water. In terms of what you most dislike about your appearance, you said... Let's go back to that one. That's a good one. 
you know, I'm, I'm, I'm comfortable in my own, you know what I'm saying, my own skin. I was like, if I had to nitpick, you know, I don't know, maybe be a little bit taller. You know what I mean? I was like, you know, six four, six five, maybe. I don't know. <laughs> and then you said that your current state of mind is... Extreme ambition. Is that always your state of mind or just currently? It's always that. I think I'm always like thinking about what's next, you know, what's the, what's the next, you know, you know, thing for me to to solve. I like I like so, like problem solving. I like I like challenges. I like raising the bar from one thing to the next. I think that's you know, it's a it's a gift and a curse right now, especially, you know, from from like this pandemic, you know, being kind of slowed down a lot naturally. I think I'm just like I'm even more like ready to kind of like get going. For the talent you'd most like to have, you said to be able to play all instruments. Any in particular? Okay, electric guitar and like piano. I think piano and electric guitar are the two things that that two two uh, instruments I, w- I would love to like master. You know, I think those are the, those those are two for sure. Do you think you'll try? I've tried the guitar at one point, and I've tried the piano. Uh, I don't think I want to bad enough yet. I will one day when I when I really decide to like all right I'm going to do this because once I set my mind on something it's like I'm pretty like I'm 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 pretty like dogmatic with it so we'll uh we'll we'll see if if it gets to that point you know you had two slightly contradicting answers for if you could change one thing about yourself you said more carefree and for the trait you most deplore in yourself you said being too easygoing yeah because like easygoing for me is like more or less like very adaptable. Like I can like be okay like anywhere, you know what I'm saying? Which sometimes leaves room for being non-specific. Like you just kind of like it's like it like like you kind of go with the flow with anything. It's like whatever. And that's something I was like, eh, kind of like sometimes wish I was very like more specific and like be very like, you know what I'm saying? Like very specific with certain things. The carefree element comes from more of a like excuse my my French not giving a f- <laughs> You know what I'm saying? And like, you know, in which lends itself to being more specific because if like if you didn't really care you you wouldn't care to say the things you really you really cared about Does that make sense you said that being intuitive is your most marked characteristic have you always felt intuitive yeah i think i, I, I kind of grew up with it like my intuition is crazy um my gut instinct i've always listened to it no i can't say that i not say i've always listened to it i've listened to it more as i got as i've gotten older but i think I credit that to 85, 90% of my decisions and it kind of leans on that. Your greatest fear, you said- Is being forgotten. Would you say that's accurate? You know, I've, I've lost people in life, you know, uh, from a, at, a, at a younger age, you know, to, you know, recently, you know, and, and I think there's been times where, I, you know, you know, people that when I was younger, you know, I've, I've uh, you know, maybe forgotten a birthday you know, or, you know, would go a couple of weeks and not think about them. You know what I'm saying? I would feel like, damn, like, okay, damn, if I could not think about somebody that I I was that close to or had this type of relationship with, uh, what happens, you know, over time with other, you know what I'm saying? With other things, it was kind of like a sense, like more like a sense of mortality, like being, like being forgotten, you know? Um, it was probably one of my, one of my biggest fears I think at a point in time it would uh it would drive me to like to work hard, you know, to 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 leave impact, you know, that's that goes beyond, you know, my physical body. You know, life life's short, you know, and I think maybe this past year I've thought about it more more times than not. Um and you just always wanna, you know, you wanna you wanna do the most you can and get the most out of the time that you have uh, and, and make it count, you know? You said your motto is- Turning nothing into something. What does that mean to you? I think I think that's something that I've always felt. It's something that I've always done. And it really just kind of like defined or kind of helped explain why we go so hard. It's like, I've been blessed to have, you know, to accomplish, accomplish, you know, things and, you know, in the, in the short amount of time that I've been here. And it's always about the next thing, the next thing, it's the next thing. It's about the journey. You know, it's not, it's not, it's not about one individual, like, you know, uh, accomplishment. Why do I enjoy doing what, what, what I do or, you know, 
it, it's the taking nothing, taking this idea, this thing, whatever it is, and creating it and turning it into something. Like it's that journey, it's that process that I think I'm addicted to. And maybe it'll fade as I get older, who knows? I don't know, but for now, it's just like a, a endless appetite. For your mottos, you said- I mean, I got a bunch. Um, what other mottos do you have? Uh, live your dash, you know what I'm saying? It's kind of like, like you know, you're born, you know, 87 dash, you know, whatever you, you're gonna expire, you know what I'm saying? Just live it, live that, live that space, you know, that's something. I heard it somewhere a long time ago. I can't remember exactly where, but it's something that I really liked when I, when I read it, I was like, oh. Yeah, that's, I, I can get with that. And then lead by example, you know, like leading by example. Move in silence is another one, you know? You know, you just, you ain't gotta announce everything that you're doing, you know? You just move quietly, you know? If you're the quietest person in the room, the smartest, you know? Listen. Do you think these questions overall have revealed your true nature? Revealed no, to every to everybody else. <laughs> no, I think for me is like self reflection. For me, is something that you know. What I mean, I, I like to do. You know, like you know, people that are close to me. We we talk about you know these types of things. You know, have these discussions. I think it keeps us honest. Like we call each other out. We 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 we're, we, we create space to uh, to vent. And you know, what I'm saying sometimes you just gotta talk it out. You can't keep it bottled up. You know, so. Uh, we, we have healthy talks like this, you know, often. So uh, revealing for me, not so much, but, you know, for, you know, for whoever's watching and listening, you know, maybe it gives them a little bit more insight, uh, you know, on me, you know, so, yeah. 